Welcome to another five minute drawing lesson. Today we're going to draw the GN Spider, uh, not just because it's one of my favourite cars, but also because it's a nice simple shape and I think it would be perfect for explaining how to draw cars in perspective, which I'll do in the next video. First of all though, for a side view, we'll just do a front wheel. And then the wheelbase for this car is going to be one, two and a bit wheels further back. And we draw the back wheel. And then we need a, a chassis to sit between there and it's level with the centres of the wheels. Just a pair of horizontal lines. Um, then there's a step in the bodywork at the same distance above. Just a little parallel line. And then we need one more horizontal line just above the height of the wheels. Then to work out where the tail is going to come, the tail is just a little bit lower than the top edge of this wheel, so a bit lower, and then come out until you're about half a wheel back. Make a little dot. The front of the car, we need a vertical line just inside the back edge of the front wheel. And then the top edge of the bonnet is about this distance again on top, but it's slightly sloping downwards. Something like that. And then the very front edge of the car, again, has a slight slope like this, so it's a slight overhang. It's very distinctive on this car. And the cockpit, if you go to the halfway mark between your two wheels, and then come back about a third, so two thirds of all, something like that. That's where your vertical line goes. And then the seat has a slight slope. So if you continued the slope on, it would just about clear the back wheel. And if you just carry this slope on down till you reach there, your seat height should be just a tiny bit lower than that. So you definitely don't want a seat that's higher than this continuation of that line. And then we have a line going from there to your dot. So it doesn't, it doesn't have a nice flowing swoop on this. It's, uh, it's got quite two separate pieces. The tail comes back and it's not a right angle. It's a bit more acute than that. And then goes back in. So here's your basic spider shape. Now I can add things like the steering wheel. In there. And this area here we can divide in half. There's the strap that holds the bonnet on. And then this part here has an arch cut out and a hole for the engine. And we can put the engine in there so we can see the cylinder head. And it's just underneath the cylinder head comes the exhaust, which curves round and runs inside sort of alongside the chassis rail. There's a silencer down there. And then generally in there it's quite dark. Just hard to see exactly what's going on in there. So just just colour it in dark. Some pipes, some wires. Something like that. Um, now we've got a fuel pump. Could be an oil pump, I think it's fuel. A little handle on. And a handbrake which is level with the cockpit. Just sticks out there. And then there's a tax disc. Quite a lot of rivets, but we won't put them all in, otherwise it'll look like it's got measles or something. Just put a few of the key ones in. Rivets are good because they, they kind of explain how things are held together, what things are going on, what's going on beneath the surface. Um, now we ought to see the sump of the engine just sticking out underneath and an under tray. Just generally a bit darker under there. And we should see the wheels on the far side just to make it feel more three dimensional. And we'll do some a shadow, some grass or something. And we could 
just right spider. And see what else. Is there anything I've missed? Just a few scuffs and scrapes because it's had a very hard, a long and hard competition career. So just uh, and the seat, of course. So you can just firm up a few of the lines, but don't go crazy. It's nice to leave them with the energy that they had when you first put them in. And hopefully that looks okay. And as I said, in a in a future video shortly, I'll. Um, take this simple car shape and we'll make it three-dimensional. Hope you enjoyed that. See you again soon.